This is your fast cast for Saturday, August 24th. Some of the top stories that we're following on this Saturday. The Anchorage Police Department's Employees Union, as well as the mayor of Anchorage, are commenting about the city's seventh officer involved shooting of the year. Chief Sean Case gave a press conference that we streamed live as it happened on Friday night. We've got complete coverage of that shooting, as well as a homicide police say it's related to at alaskasnewsource.com. The Associated Press is reporting that bird flu is spreading among cows across the U.S. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says the H5 bird flu is widespread in wild birds and is causing outbreaks in poultry and dairy cows with several recent human cases. While the CDC says public health risk is low, health experts and scientists are closely watching the situation and working with states to monitor people with animal exposure. With bird flu spreading across the country, does this have farmers in Alaska worried? In order to keep chickens safe, animal experts at the Alaska State Fair on Saturday are saying owners should separate chickens from wild birds, keep their pens clean, avoid handling animals if you're sick, and if your birds are at the fair this year, you're encouraged to consider quarantining them once the fair wraps up. Also at the Alaska State Fair on Saturday, Bill signed into law Fireworks, food, and 4-H are the topics among those three bills. Among the big changes in House Bill 146, separating the large category of soluble fireworks into consumer and display fireworks. Display fireworks would only be permitted for use in public displays and need to be purchased by someone who has a newly minted pyrotechnic license. We have the latest on those three bills that Governor Mike Dunleavy signed into law Saturday at the fair online right now at alaskasnewsource.com. This has been your FastCast for Saturday, August 24th. Thank you so much for watching.